father, she's acting in a very strange way. We don't know what to do with her. She sleeps on the floor and she eats very little and she treats us like her master. We feel so bad for her. None of the fathers have reached reached the level of spirituality of Saint Anna Simone. The queen who left her kingdom and her power to humble herself. Her? Yes, her. She's the daughter of a king. She inherited his kingdom and left her palace open for all. But she left everything, seeking our beloved Lord Jesus Christ. Who among you have left as much as her? Let me tell you her story. Darius the dad was a righteous king. He wanted to raise his daughter Anna properly within Christianity. He resolved to get her a priest, to teach her how to grow up in the ways of God. This priest taught her the ways of God from the Bible and told her great stories of holy people and, and saints who gave up everything they had to follow Christ, like Elijah the prophet, John the Baptist, and Embabola the first hermit. As she grew older and older, Hannah, Anna would read the Bible and stories of the hermit in all her free time. Oh God, please God, let me go to the convent with you. Please God, soften my dad's heart. You know the secrets of my heart. You know how much I want to be with you. Please, make it easy for me to do your will. Please God, please, know that I want to be with you. Just prepare some fruits for you and some money for the, your next week's rent. Thank you, Anna. You've always been the nicest one in the castle. I hope that stays with you when you become the new queen. Become the queen? Oh, have you not heard? Mm -hmm. Anna, your father, he, he died. He died mysteriously last night in his sleep. The army is considering you replacing him. Anna was now forced to be crowned. She was very sad, and every single one in her kingdom loved her in all the years that she reigned. She was a righteous queen, and she had God in her heart. She gave the needy, like Bobby, and judged fairly for everyone. But she wasn't very happy with all of this, because what she really wanted was to live for God. God, God has been so merciful to me. So what reasons for me to live, to continue living in this world, with its pleasures and vain glories? But... If I want to desire, if I want to earn the kingdom of heaven, I need to get up now, prepare myself, leave everything, and follow him. He told me, if whoever wants to follow me and doesn't carry his cross is not worthy of me. Anna then took off her crown. She put it gently on the throne. She removed her cape. She removed her fancy shoes. She prepared to go into the desert. She took with her her book of the hermits and her Bible. She does the sign of the cross and she leaves. Anna walks to the desert and on her way she rubs her sore feet. She rubs her tummy and she plucks grass just so that she can eat. After a year in the wilderness, Anna Simone felt that the beasts and the wild animals were serving her and that she was eating so luxuriously. So she decided to come here, to your convent, and she chose to live that very simple and humble life. She didn't want to get any praises from people, and she wanted to serve God in peace and humility. You see now, Anna has really reached the level of spirituality that none of the fathers have reached. Thank you.